Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant on card autograph. The crystal version, which I like to call the cracked ice. Pokemon has a similar looking uh, foil refractor finish kind of. Let's see what this gets. On card Kobe Bryant auto crystal. Super cool. In a world full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, grading, selling, buying, one card game remains supreme. One man has the insights you need to know. Watch and subscribe now. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here with an epic return. I do not know the grades at all. And this is going to be good. It's a mixture of Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and mainly sports cards. So if you don't like sports cards, it was a 20-card economy order. 20 cards, I would say all cards valued at $500 or more. That's right, 500 bucks or more. And without further ado, let us get into it. All right, this is going to be wild. I have not seen the grades. Oh, and there's a Yu-Gi-Oh! one first. A Yu-Gi-Oh! card first. It's the Remote Duel. The Remote Duel, the promo card for the giveaway that Konami was having on Instagram and Twitter. The prize card here. What is this? going to be i am definitely a little nervous a little nervous here let's let's look and see what this is gem in 10 boom there it is that is fantastic that is fantastic i'm trying to get every remote dual prize card back in psa 10 condition this would be a great great collection piece i love the historical value of this this was the first card that came out when the pandemic happened, Konami, because they said this is no longer able, we're not able to have any uh, in-person tournaments, that we are going to give these prize cards out away for remote dueling. And United We Stand, fittingly, with the artwork and with the title itself, I would say is a great uh, pandemic card. It's uh, United We Stand here. That is great. That is fantastic. Very, very happy to start. Um, there's a Pokemon, two Pokemons, another Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's look at this one. This one is a Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce. What are we going to get here? Near Mint to Min 8. Uh, I thought this had a good shot at a 9. Uh, this is a dual auto. The Celtics looking really good right now in the nba trying to make the finals an eight i'm not too thrilled with um let's save this one let's move on to oh, actually some of these some of these exquisites this is a marshawn lynch skittles beast mode gold exquisite patch auto i'm hoping for sevens or higher on these sevens or higher what is this gonna be Seven, perfect. That is a seven on the gold Marshawn Lynch exquisite patch auto out of 25. These exquisite thick patch autos are really almost impossible to grade. You get anything above a seven, I'd say you're doing extremely, extremely well. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Jared Allen, Jared Allen patch auto, National Treasures. Uh, this, I remember being, I had two of them in here, there's the other one. I remember them both being in, in pretty solid shape. Let's see. Gem in 10, that's a massive card. Jared Allen, two color patch, National Treasures. That is a massive, massive card. I think this guy has a lot of upside and to get this card in a PSA 10, in my opinion, is really, really good. That is not an easy card to grade, very thick. You could see these cases, extremely thick, these patch autos. A Gem Mint 10, that is fantastic. I'm thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled. I think that card is a 10 sold for a pretty penny back a few months ago. Here's another one. And that got a 9. I'm fine with that. A 1-9, one, 110. A Gem Mint 10 on one of these National Treasures autos is just absolutely stellar. 
These, these are not at all easy to grade. If this guy turns out to be something which I think he has the potential, I think the sky is the limit for that card. Uh, Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson. This is the National Treasures. 9 of 99. I remember this had a surface issue or defect. Let's see what this gets. Four color. Four color patch on card auto for National Treasures. Let's see what that gets. I, I'm going to say seven. Seven or, or maybe eight on a good day. But probably seven. Could be even less. Okay. Eight. That's acceptable. I'll definitely take an eight. I will absolutely take an eight for this Calvin Johnson. Fantastic. Fantastic. Very nice. Baseball. Willie Mays. Willie Mays Black Ink on card auto. This is a reprint of his original rookie card. His rookie card, um, way, way back, I believe, in the 50s. Um, this is a reprint of the card, Chrome Refractor Finish from 2001 Archives. On card black, beautiful black signature. Not many of these Chrome Refractor cards with the on card autographs have bold signatures like this. This is a phenomenal looking card. There's blue and black ink variants. As you can see, look at that. Look at the shine on that. Really, really phenomenal. All right, I'm going to guess uh, seven to eight because I think there were some surface problems. These are pretty prone to surface issues. Uh, look at the centering is pretty darn good. Let's see what it gets. Mint nine. That is really good. I am actually thrilled with a mint nine on this card. That is really good. That certainly, certainly has exceeded my expectations. A Mint 9 of this Willie Mays is really a phenomenal card. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal. That, that honestly is one of my favorites so far here in this submission. And this card, there's no way this is going to get a high grade. I wanted to encapsulate it. It's Big Ben, Peyton Manning, Tony Romo, Eli Manning, quad on card auto from Exquisite. I mean, that, this is a monster card. But again, there, there was some chipping and, and some white on the uh, thick corners of this. So no way it's going to get super high grade. I'm hoping if it's an 8, I'm thrilled. If it's a 7, I'm okay. Just under a 7 is where I'm like, yeah, I don't really like it. Let's see. This is four iconic quarterbacks here. One now an announcer. Nearman 7. Okay, so I am fine with that. If it got under a 7, I would not be fine with that. But since it got a 7, I am very fine with that. That is totally, totally fine and expected. So, very good. Very good. Um, Let's see. We have two Pokemons and a Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, and another sport. Let's look at the Pokemon here. Okay, let's save that Pokemon because I. that's a massive one. Let's look at the Charizard EX. Charizard EX. Let's see what we get here. Fire Red, Leaf Green. Mint 9. Man. Man, man, man. I've been trying to get the this specific... Like, Charizard EX, Fire Red, Leaf Green. I've been trying to get a 10 of this card for so long. I've been grading this for so long. Um, like, I, I've, I've submitted so many of these. So many have come back 9s, unfortunately. So that... That's kind of a tough one, but uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, it's okay. Um, I'm going to keep that Pokemon and then keep that. That's a triple autograph and keep the other Yu-Gi-Oh there for a little while. Okay. And we'll keep going. Oh, it looks like we have an exquisite. Another Marshawn Lynch gold. Very similar to the other one. Looks very similar. We're looking for a seven or higher. Just for the collection here. These are, again, very, very thick cards. Three-color patch autograph. Near Mint to Mint 8. I'm thrilled with that. I am absolutely thrilled. Let's see if we could pull that other one up. We got a 7, and we've got an 8. Again, keep in mind, guys, these are not at all easy to grade. So the 8 is really good. And anything for my collection, a 7 or higher... I was thrilled with so this is really really cool very very good the only disappointment so far has been uh, that dual autograph Celtics 
But everything else, the Jared Allen 10, the Willie Maze is awesome as well. What's up, YouTube? We are back, and it continues on. We have a Frank Gore, I see here. We've got a Calvin Johnson, a Joe Burrow. Let's look at the Calvin Johnson. This is the exquisite, exquisite Calvin Johnson. This one's just the base exquisite out of 99. The Marshawn Lynch was out of 25. Let's see what we get here. Again, seven or more, and I am thrilled. Seven. Awesome. Awesome. Seven is totally, totally fine with me. I am actually very thrilled with that. Number eight of 99 made. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. Doing pretty, pretty good. Uh, we've got a Kobe Auto, a LeBron Refractor, a Trout, a Joe Burrow. Let's look at the Kobe. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant on card autograph. The crystal version, which I like to call the cracked ice. Pokemon has a similar looking uh, foil refractor finish, kind of. Let's see what this gets. On card Kobe Bryant auto crystal. Super cool. Near mint to mint eight. Um, not thrilled. I'm not thrilled with that. I, I was hoping for a nine. Uh, I really was. Uh, eight is okay. It's kind of right where it's fair enough, you know, wh where I, I think it's a little under what I thought it would be, but that's that's not the worst. Um, Tom Brady. This is the gold refractor. Um, th this, uh, in my opinion, had no shot at a 10. I would be thrilled with a nine. I'm thinking it's more toward a seven could be even lower. Could be, I would say, anywhere from a 6 to 8. 6 to 8 range on this one. Let's see. Tom Brady. This is beautiful shine on this. Gold Refractor Tom Brady. Had a surface imperfection, if I recall. Near Mint Mint 8. Okay, so this is exactly what I expected on the higher end, I guess. Left to right, super off-center. And then there was some sort of surface scratch somewhere on... Yep. You could actually pull that. Yep, right there, right there. I think I think that was it. Um, and then left to right, super off center. So an eight, I would say, is pretty generous, believe it or not, for that Tom Brady. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's go to the. Ooh, I don't know. Let's go to the Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, bl Black Luster Soldier Ghost Rare. Of course, I open one pack of this, Ghost from the Past, off-camera. What happens? Pull a Ghost Rare. I, I open one pack off-camera, and that was the only pack of Ghost from the Past I ever opened. One mini box ever, and I pulled this guy. Uh, so let's see what this hits. Mint 9, man, that hurts. That hurts. I thought that would be a 10. I really did. I thought I had a good 10 shot. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm honestly happier that the United We Stand got a 10, to be honest with you. Um, Frank Gore, this is probably... Oh, look at this patch, though. Frank Gore, auto patch, SP authentic gold. That is a logo of the San Francisco 49ers, right on the, right on the sleeve. This is an amazing, amazing card. Um, this thing looked good from what I remember, so if, if it gets like an anything less than an 8, I would not be happy. I would say it's an 8-plus card, in my opinion. Let's see. 9 would be a really, really good grade. A 10 would be just... I would lose my lose my mind. Let's see. Ooh, 9. That's really good. That's really good for this card. A 9 for this uh, Frank Gore is really, really good. Um... This, in my opinion, is one of his true iconic cards, and a 9 is just stellar, really. Very happy about that. Uh, let's see what else we've got. LeBron, triple auto. Let's do the triple. Triple auto of Dan Marino, Peyton Manning, Joe Montana. Wow. Beautiful, iconic, three great quarterbacks, all-time greats, on card, triple signature. I'm going to say 8. Be thrilled with a 9. And that's where I'm going to stay with this card. I can't imagine less than an 8. I can't imagine, obviously, a 9 would be great. I would love a 9, but I think 8 is acceptable. 8. Boom. So, 8 is an acceptable range for this card. It had some whitening on those corners, those gold corners. 
Um, I would have loved a 9, but an 8's fine. An 8's okay. Let's continue on. Uh, LeBron James. LeBron James Refractor. I'm going to say this is going to be a 9. Uh, I think anything under a 9, it's kind of under. Over a 9, then I got lucky. I'm going to say a 9 is what I expected for this card. Pretty, pretty solid 9. Gem Mint 10 LeBron James Refractor. Oh, man, that's a big one. LeBron James Refractor at a 1,999. This is a massive, massive card, folks. This is about a $4,000 plus dollar card right here. Oh, my goodness. Holy moly. Amazing. This is iconic. Wow. This is a huge, huge hit. Huge hit. Um, okay. Uh, well, let's do the Burrow, then do the Trout. Uh, Joe Burrow. I'd say 9 to 10. 9 plus. Let's see. Silver Joe Burrow from Prism. 9. Okay. They're tough, man. They're tough with these Silver Prisms. They are very, very tough with these Silver Prisms. Beautiful looking card, though. He, he could be in for a prime year again. A Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl quarterback there. That LeBron is just phenomenal. Um, Mike Trout. Uh, this card, the centering was just slightly off. The rest of the card, in my opinion, looked really, really good. I thought about getting this signed first, then getting it uh, graded. To see if I could get the 10-10. 10 on the card, 10 on the autograph. But uh, I just figured, just grade it. Let's see what happens. Let's see. This has a shot. Gem Min 10, kaboom. Mike Trout, this about is a $2,500 to $3,000 card right here. That is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, Mike Trout, the true iconic rookie. Fantastic, fantastic. And finally, the Shining Charizard. Shining Charizard. Uh, this, obviously, huge difference between 9 and 10 here. Uh, it looked really good. It looked like there's a chance... We'll see. We'll see. Shining Charizard. If this ever was a Ted, this would be one of the greatest submissions I feel like I've, I've had uh, ever, really. Um, but here we go. The last card of the submission. It's going to be... Come on. <clears throat> Near Mint to Mint 8. Oh. Oh. Bad, bad way to end this. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh, that hurts. I don't know what happened with this. I, I thought this was a good looking card here. To me, this had a shot at, at Gem. I'll take another look. I will gladly take another look at this. All right. All right. Well, that was anticlimactic. I hope you all enjoyed overall some um, tremendous sports cards in this submission. Absolutely tremendous stuff. All right. Until next time, hope you enjoyed Yu Gi Oh! Tube. Signing out.